people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, this part of the video is called The Thief and the Murderers. They are getting dumber and dumber. And this is based on an incident that took place in an old harbor where we're speaking about St. Catherine, in which a man gave the Pope a false report. I am speaking about a person whose name is Romario Phillips, and he is said to be 22 year old. So we are talking about a little young youth. Now, based on the information, it is said that on June 15, 2020, Mr. Phillips informed the Pope in a old harbor that some men, three men, held him at gunpoint and basically took away in 2012. Nissan Note Motor Car. And um, people, based on the information, it is said that after the Pope did their investigation, they found out that this man basically made some false claims he made false allegation and what made it even worse is that after the investigation it is said that this man basically used his own care to commit a slap away in a place called christian gardens we are speaking about off the main road in a portmore now people let me ask you a question Whenever anything goes wrong, especially when you are speaking about a man and woman, if you are a husband and your wife gets slapped away, you are going to be the first suspect. If you claim that somebody hold you up at gunpoint, the poor boy is not going to just swallow a big pill and say, yeah, this man will tell the truth because this incident happened on Christian garden. So therefore, he must be a Christian. He must be like Christ-like. No, people, they are going to think they are going to think the polar opposite of what you tell them. They are going to think what is this person's motive, why he is now reporting. And when them check or do the investigation, them find out say, a same kind of care like the care that he claimed was stolen by three gunmen that held him up. At the same type of care basically do a hit in a Christian garden. So people, what is the possibility? What is a likely scenario that he is not involved? So people, right now, Mr. Phillips, Mr. Romario Phillips, he is now in the custody of the Pope because he uses his own care to slap with somebody and try blaming it upon three other we are talking about thief. So people, the moral of the story is this. Don't thief if you can't hide. Don't slap away people because it is against the rules and laws and regulation. And you should be put in at a big house for a lengthy amount of time. We are talking about a couple of decades. And based on the information that them have the care that actually did the hit, more than likely it is going to be an open and closed case for this man, Mr. Romario Phillips. Point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source one word and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel we're speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that two men got conned up in a place called Vineyard District where we are speaking about St. Elizabeth. Now people, when we talk about St. Elizabeth, it is supposed to be a peaceful, tranquil place. However, we see that it basically broke out like a sore. We are speaking about as it pertains to thievery, robbery and also slap away. Now based on the information, it is said that persons that got slapped away are 39 year old, Kenyatta Williams and he is employed to a shop in the community and also 31 year old Lance Simmons or Salmon. Now people based on the information it is said that they were sitting outside of Mr. Williams shop where he works and some men roll up on the spot and spray the place and people when we talk about spray the place we don't talk about no sort of bacon. Now based on the information by the Pope it is said that there has been a lot of tensions in the area, tension in the area, and also residents also verified and validate those claims. Now, people, the residents are even saying that the people that are fighting are people that grow up together, 
people that ate together, people that went to school together, people that know each other. So people, what is this internal feud about? Now, based on the residents in the community, it is said that this place has been flaring up for quite a while. So people, we have to wonder what are these likely scenarios that is causing all of this problem. And people, we say people are prayer. They are even calling on divine intervention. Now people are begging and bawling. They are saying that they want to see their community go back into the olden days. And people, I talk about the olden days. May I talk about maybe three or four years ago when it was more peaceful and more tranquil. So based on the claim by a lot of residents, they are saying that the Pope was supposed to come and basically calm down and basically moderate the situation. However, it seems like the Pope did not intervene in time and people will see what happened. Now, whenever we see stuff like this going on in these rural places, we are talking about a place that is known as a farm town, not a tea-free town, not a slap-away town, we have to wonder, is this because of some sort of family land? Because people have lately, we see enough people are losing their life because of that. And we have to also take into consideration that even though a lot of these rural areas, they are tranquil and peaceful, a lot of the time the people are uneducated the people them can't read and um, people whenever people cannot read it is very hard to communicate especially if them dark especially when they have a anger management problem and the next likely scenario that we have to also take into consideration is that St. Elizabeth is known as one of those places that have the good stuff. May I talk about the stickity ickity? May I talk about the Bob Marley? And people, they are also known. We are speaking about the trickle down effect. We are speaking about the guns for drugs trade. So, people, is this what is happening? Is this because of somebody take somebody greenery? Is this because somebody owes somebody? Is this because some people are not playing straight and basically are under and the next person? So people, the moral of the story or the point that I am trying to make is this. Whenever we see any rural place, basically start to broke out like so. There is always something new that is being introduced and I am speaking about new money. And people, you understand what I'm saying about new money. It is fool's money. And if you don't know how to act, People are going to get carried away and people are going to get taken out. People like me say, these are just likely scenarios. I don't know. I cannot say with 100% surety. Me just speculate. However, you can let me know what you think in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now the next thing that is popping in the news that we see that a security supervisor he has been arrested in st james silo to be specific and this is based on a video that i did maybe about a couple of days ago based on three armed robbers that basically stick up the Upton Estate main office I am speaking about in Silo St. Elizabeth. Now, based on the information, like I said then, there were three men, three G-U-N-M-E-N in a ski mask, and then basically put everybody upon them face, and also going to one vault, and they got in excess of 300,000 Jamaican dollar, some cell phone and other electronic devices. Now, based on the information, it is said that after the incident, the Popo set up a dragnet and they caught this man. We are talking about the security supervisor driving the getaway car and of course, them hold him and everybody else take with themselves. Now, people, when we think about the fact that this man is supposed to be the security supervisor, that means that this is somebody that the company would have trusted for basically run them security operation. However, what did he do? He was doing the polar opposite of his job. Now, people, we should not be surprised because the truth and the fact is that most of these people that are working as security guards are working in a D security company. May I talk about Arkai, may I talk about Brinks, may I talk about all of them. Most of them are rogue popo. So therefore, if you take them off of the force 
and you put them as security officers, they are going to only do what is in their natural instinct. We are talking about crime, we are talking about thievery, we are talking about all sorts of bad stuff. So people, in this case, we see that that is the case once again, one more again, and people, and next criminal, come off of the street. Only thing is that this man basically took an oath. He took an oath to secure the people. However, what he was doing is the opposite of what he's supposed to do. What is his job title? Security, not thievery, not robbery. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.